Okay, the guy made one dua, but maybe it's a really good guy. Maybe it's like a salih, a mu'min, someone who has a lot of taqwa, someone who has a lot of ilm, or maybe a guy who made tawbah. Ujibu da'wata ta'ibi. I respond to the dua of the guy who made tawbah. He didn't say that. He said, I respond to the guy, the da'wa, the one dua of the guy who called, ad-da'a, the one who called. The description of the guy is that he did what? He called. In other words, did Allah put any other expectation on him? Did he say, da'wat al-musalli, da'wat al-muttaqi, da'wat al-mu'min? No. He didn't say you have to have taqwa, he didn't say you have to have iman, he didn't say you have to have ilm. Not in this dua, not in this dua. Why? Because Allah is talking to people who are so far away from Allah. And the first thing He tells them is, look, I am near. You're far, I am near. And then He tells them, look, I know you have nothing but this one dua right now. That's okay, just give me. Just give me this one dua. Even if you're just a da, you're just a caller. You're, I have no other description for you. I can't even call you salih yet, muslim yet, mu'min yet. I can't call you anything. I'm just calling you a da, the caller. That's not even a qualification. Just that is good enough. Just call me. Subhanallah. What an invitation from Allah. And before I go on, I told you sometimes a boss has 500 employees. Does he know their names? No. Especially if the employee only sent him in his entire life, only sent him how many emails? One email. How's he going to remember? If he sends him a text message, he doesn't have his name saved, he doesn't know where this number came from. Allah did not say, Ujibu da'wata da'in. He said, Ujibu da'wata ad-da'i. The alif lam in the word makes it ma'rifah, which means it makes it proper, specific. In other words, anybody who calls Allah, Allah does not just say, someone who calls me, He goes, that one who called me. That one in particular. He is, you are specific to Allah. Allah knows you especially. Personally, you call Allah, Allah knows who exactly you are. And He wants to answer you immediately. He wants to start a new relationship with you immediately. Whatever happened yesterday is done. Start today. You become Muslim today. You become a caller to Allah today. Ujibu da'wat ad da'i. Now the question I told you before was, the problem I gave you before was, if you want to meet someone important, that happens on your schedule or my uh, or the important person schedule? Important person schedule. You don't say, I would like to meet the Minister of Education. Let me just, you know, walk over to the ministry and say, hey, let's go. I want to talk to you for a minute. I'm not going to do that. You don't have time. He doesn't have time for you. When will Allah, when can you, what's a good time to call Allah? People say, what's a good time to make dua? People say that, right? And of course, we're talking about Ramadan. What does he say though? He says, Ujibu da'wat ad da'i idha. Whenever. Whenever. Da'ani. Whenever he called me. Whenever you call me, I will answer you immediately. Call me one in the morning, I'll answer you. Call me in the afternoon, I'll answer you. Before you go to sleep, you call me, I'll answer you. Subhanallah. This is not the whole ayah. This is the first half of the ayah. I will answer you whenever you call. This is the invitation of Allah. 